We finish stats, extracurriculars. Who's next? Go, 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 go. I'm sorry, I'm TikTok obsessed. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Juan Sukashik and I created this channel to help those who will be applying to college in the future. As you may have noticed in my super obnoxious intro, I am going to be talking about essays today, specifically my Calm Nap essay. I'm going to be reading out loud and also giving tips and advice along the way. This is where the essay journey starts. I'm gonna be talking about my UC essays. I'm gonna be reading them out loud in the next video and then individual supplemental essays. Stay tuned, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Essays, essays, essays. In my opinion, essays are probably the most important aspect of your application because the admissions officers get to see your true personality. I'm sure you've heard this like 20 million times, but it's true. Stats show numbers, extracurriculars are purely descriptions, but essays are where you can really relay your quirky, humorous, uh, goofy, um, awkward self and make yourself likable to the admissions counselors such that they like you enough to want to see you on campus in the incoming class. Okay, so let's think about a likable character. My favorite character is Jane from Jane the Virgin. Um, I love her. She is just such a relatable person for me. She's a real person with real struggles financially, emotionally, but she's super duper passionate about the things in her life, like her family, her love for writing. So for those of you who don't watch Jane the Virgin, Let's take another character, for example, Jake Peralta from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. If you guys watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine, you'd know that the way he makes everything funny and lightens up the atmosphere in the room, that's just his core personality trait. But if you watch the show, you would also know that he has huge passion and huge determination for his work as a detective. And throughout the show, one minute he'll be cracking a joke and the second he'll solve the entire case. So both Jake and Jane from these shows are examples of likable characters. And let's think about what they have in common. They're both relatable. Jake is relatable through his humor and Jane is relatable through her emotions. And they're also both really passionate about their own work. So my advice for you is to find the personality trait that makes you relatable and find your passion and mix those two to create a great common application essay. And remember, your passion does not have to be academic at all. It can be snowboarding, it can be reading books, it can be playing the piano, it can be reorganizing your closet. Just something that you're really passionate about, but also one that gives more insight into your personality. So now I'll read my common application essay and hopefully you guys figure out the personality trait I try to emulate in my essay to make myself more relatable to the admissions counselors and also the passion I try to show through my essay. So if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my laptop, which has my essay. Uh, so the common application gives you six prompts. Personally, I chose prompt number five, which was discuss an accomplishment, event, or realization that sparked a period of personal growth and a new understanding of yourself or others. It was time. I grabbed my styling kit filled with everything ranging from combs to hair clips and skipped to the room in the corner. As I came closer, I heard my great grandmother say, Thup, 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 calling me over. Sitting behind her, I began to whip her withering white hair into a new updo. The sparkle in her eyes as she looked in the mirror every day is captured in the name I gave her, Tapa. This was my introduction. As you can see, it was sort of a hook and it was introduction to the story I'm gonna be telling. I used exclamation points, alliteration, um, dialogue even, to really immerse my reader into the story. I wanted them to feel what I was feeling in that moment. One of my biggest pieces of advice for your Common App essay is to have a banger first paragraph or first sentence. I'll link a website below. It's basically the best opening sentences written by a bunch of Stanford admits. And those intro sentences or paragraphs are super duper interesting. You yourself want to read more of that essay. So I think that's really important uh, to really hook your audience in the first part of your essay. This idea of naming the people I cherish continued when I met my best friend, 
whom I called Neeners. I wrapped up the pleasant memory of eating nine packets of crunchy seaweed under the playground in her name. Another fond memory of holding my new dog in my arms, exclaiming, he reminds me of the moon, led to the name Mooney. These names were the way I fostered my own connections with the ones I love. So this paragraph sort of culminates the idea I'm trying to show in the first paragraph and the second paragraph, that the way I connect with people is through the names that I give them. When I met Sojanya, however, this idea changed. The first time I saw her, she stood on the opposite side of the field, wearing a traditional kurta. Her hair was in a supposed braid, but it fell all over her face. Despite this, her smile and uncontrollable laughter gleamed across, prompting me to talk to her. As I walked closer, I began noticing her unusual mannerisms, screaming at random instances and having no control of her motion, despite her grown age. I later learned that this was due to her autism. Surprised by Sojanya's disability at her age, I decided to go meet her at her activity center. Although initially shy, she introduced her friends, who were all diagnosed with individual disabilities. As I waved to them, I observed that some were not capable to do so, while others were too afraid. I was determined to get through to them. I visited them twice a week, starting off by simply observing their routine art therapy classes and transitioning to aiding with their painting skills. After a month of familiarization, I held a Christmas festival for them where we sang resident Christmas carols, met Santa, and digressed to dancing to traditional Hindi music. At the end of the day, I waved to all of them, heading towards the exit. After taking a few steps, they all yelled, Bye, Akka! I stopped in my tracks and turned around to see beaming smiles with the cutest crooked teeth and open mouths. They had all given me a name. My heart swelled with happiness as I ran back to embrace them in a group hug. Akka meant sister in Kannada, their mother tongue. I marveled at the way they were able to encompass all of our memories into one name, just like I did before. It felt amazing to receive a name that symbolized the genuine impact I had made on all of them, to the point that they considered me family. By embodying every memory with a person into one name, I can connect with people in unique ways, combining their interests, ideas, and wishes with mine. In school, this meant including the soccer players in volleyball games during PE, while using their soccer goals as a makeshift volleyball net, or incorporating spirit days to harness the energy displayed in our annual sports day. With my family, this meant connecting with my grandma by intersecting her love for politics with mine of health. Personally, it meant researching the link between media and health to connect with myself and develop my own interests. As for Sojanya and her friends, we all worked together to use those art therapy classes to make products of their interests, which would allow them to earn a basic income. In fact, they still call me Akka, and I still call myself a neighbor. Not a professional one, just one who seeks to find happiness through the whitest hair or within the crooked smiles of the people I cherish. What aspect of this essay makes me relatable to the admissions officers? The fact that this naming system wasn't anything official. It's something that almost everyone does. Everyone gives nicknames to their loved ones. However, I brought a unique perspective to it. It basically described my journey of connecting with people. First by names and then with the experience of Sojanya and her differently abled friends, I was able to connect with people in different ways, which led to my interdisciplinary interests. So you can see how it all comes together. So what was the personality trait that I tried to emulate in this essay? The fact that I wanted to connect with others, I was understanding, I was kind, and then my passion was connecting things. So connecting my interests with others' interests, connecting with other people in general, and then connecting my own abstract interests. So I really, really recommend you guys to start with this. Pick a few personality traits you want to show in your uh, college application that wasn't shown elsewhere and put it together with a passion of yours. And I think together it'll make a really good college application essay. Please like this video if it helped you. Subscribe for more college application related content. I will see you guys next time.